speaks for itself in so many ways. A stadium bursting at the seams with excitement and two terrific teams ready to give it everything in their quest for glory. The kind of match that's impossible to take your eyes off even for a brief second. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live from the Bernabeu here on EA TV. And the floodlights are shining down on the players here in the Spanish capital of Madrid. We're at the Bernabeu. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League. The group stage and match day one. My goodness, so much to look forward to. It's Real Madrid up against Stuttgart. Well, the hopes certainly go into this game with strong favourites have better technical flares and can be brilliant when everything clicks. But their opponents are well organised, resilient and pose a threat. Wonderful chance! A goal in the early stages. Precisely what they had been planning. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. Action underway once more. A wake-up call for the Real players, maybe. Can they find a response now? Mendy. Now with Fernandez. Aurelia Chuameni. Camavinga. Surely the equaliser. Brilliant save. Some colour there on the black. Nothing comes of this attack. Jude Benninger and Valverde. Cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? Shuamini. Teammates available. This could level it. Making sure nothing came of it. And some resilience to shut them down. Now, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. And passing it well. Not far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. Start getting it into their front players with better quality, they'll struggle to turn this one around. 
Absolutely. And looking to try to take advantage of the possession here. Vinicius Junior. And that is going to be a free kick. as things stand. Stuart, what have you made of what you've seen? Yes, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Their work rate and discipline has been excellent. Any drop in tempo and this lead could easily slip away. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. books here at the Bernabeu. Well, we usually think of Vinicius Junior as somebody who can win a game on his own, but he's being kept quiet. So back in business, the ball moving again, and Real with a bit of work ahead of them. Vinicius Junior. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. Mendy. A large piece of defending. but he keeps the ball. That's the strength to hang on to it. Well, it did look promising, but no threat in the end.
Aurelia Chuameni. And return to Rodrigo. Very quick thinking there. Now with the dying embers of the game, it looks as though the visitors have done it off. Stuart, your assessment? Well, it's been a tight game, but I think they've been the better team. They've just had that little bit more quality, certainly in attack. And of course, they've been well organised at the back. They just need to see this through now. down to the final five minutes Modric and it's a quality pass but ably intercepted when it looked as though they might be in Real Madrid attacking and they have to give it a go with time not on their side and one minute of stoppage time has been added on Angelo Stiller It is final and Real Madrid will be wondering where it went awry tonight. A terrible start to their Champions League campaign. Well, that's not the result they were looking for. It makes the next game really important now. They need to respond in that one. And I think it's fair to say he'll be happy with his own contribution in this game, Stuart. Well, he obviously scored the winning goal, but it was his overall performance that impressed me most. He was on fire today.